Well, just days after the Zuzu Verk saga comes to an end, we talk to residents in Alpine. Big Tuesday on Kim joins us now with a closer look at how the community is remembering Zuzu Verk. Gian? It's already been a week since the trial of Robert Fabian came to an end, sentencing him to life. While the trial may be over, the imprint Zuzu had can be seen all over Alpine. As this chapter comes to an end, the community says her memories will live on for generations. I don't think anybody here will ever forget her. As long as they live, it'll be generations. Sheriff Ronnie Dotson has been through it all since the beginning. We're all glad it's over. There was a lot of times that we spent you know, uh, looking for her in the beginning, uh, putting the case together, now waiting for trial. You know, trial was supposed to happen several months ago, and, uh, you know, we finally got it done. Dawson says some days were harder to bear with months of setbacks and obstacles. Especially when we didn't have Zuzu. We didn't find her. You know, those months that went by, and, and, and she was hidden right in plain sight. That's one of the big frustrations now. When you look back on stuff that you could have done, places you could have looked, uh, it, uh, it's frustrating for all of us. But through the toughest days, the Alpine community only grew stronger. The Verk family became part of our community. Uh, I was very surprised at the number of people from Alpine who went to Caldwell County at their own expense and stayed in motels and stuff to, to be with the Verk family. Nearly three years passed since her disappearance until Robert Fabian's trial. And through those years, her Sol Ross State University family say they wept as one. She had a kind of a larger than life personality, very enthusiastic, engaged in everything that she did. So, so that amplified that when it was discovered, unfortunately, that she was missing and the worst was feared. The school dedicating an amphitheater in her name. Because Soros is so small, not like these bigger schools. Every time we lose one of our own, it affects all of us. So it affects it like even her, like strangers that she didn't even, probably didn't even know. At least for me and for a lot of my colleagues and a lot of the students, uh, it was just devastating. While justice may have been served, the community says there will always be a void left unfilled. It doesn't bring her back. It doesn't change what happened. And I think that's the ultimately the saddest part of the whole thing. While her family, friends, and the community mourn the loss, they're relieved for the justice she has received. Reporting in Alpine, I'm Jiang Kim, Big Two News.